Holistic Earth. The Spherot, also known as Sephirot or Sephiroth, are ten attributes or emanations in Kabbalah, a mystical branch of Jewish spirituality. They serve as channels through which Ein Sof, the infinite, reveals itself and continuously creates both the physical realm and higher metaphysical realms. These emanations are crucial in understanding the relationship between the divine and the created world. The nature of each sphere of the spherot is as follows. Keter, crown Keter represents the divine superconscious will that exists beyond conscious intellect, it is the first sapphira and signifies the unknowable aspect of God's will. Chakma, wisdom, this is the second sapphira and represents the first level of conscious divine intellect, often associated with divine wisdom. Bina, understanding, Bina, is the third sapphira and represents the second level of conscious divine intellect. It signifies understanding and comprehension. Da'at, knowledge, while not always counted as a separate sapphira, Da'at is sometimes considered the fourth sapphira. It represents the concept of knowledge and is closely related to Keter, presenting it in a knowable form. Chisid, kindness Chisid is one of the primary conscious divine emotions and represents kindness and benevolence. Gavura, strength Gavura is another primary conscious divine emotion and represents discipline and restraint. Tifrit, glory Tifrit signifies beauty in harmony, balancing the attributes of Chisid and Gavura. It is a primary conscious emotion. Netzach, victory Netzach represents victory and endurance and is one of the secondary conscious emotions. Had, splendor Had represents splendor and acknowledgement and is another secondary conscious emotion. Yesed, foundation Yesed represents the foundation and serves as a vessel to bring about action. Makath, kingdom Makath is the final Sapphira and represents kingship or sovereignty. It is associated with the physical world and is considered the vessel that receives divine energy. The spirot are often depicted as emanations of God's infinite light, with the first Sapphira, Keter, being the closest to Ein Sof and the least comprehensible to human understanding. As one moves down the spherot, they become progressively closer to the material world and more accessible to human comprehension. The spherot are not separate gods but channels through which the one God reveals his will. They also serve as a paradigm for understanding the spiritual life of humans and the structure of the universe, mirroring the divine. In Hasidic philosophy, the inner life of the spherot is explored to inspire daily devotion and service to God. Additionally, the concept of Ein Sof, meaning, without end, or, infinity, is fundamental in Kabbalah. It represents the formless state of the universe before God's self-materialization. The spherot are divine emanations that flow from Ein Sof, with the first Sapphira being the closest to it and the last being the most connected to the material world. Kabbalah offers different interpretations of the spherot, with various schools emphasizing different spiritual aspects. Despite the complexity of these emanations, Kabbalah emphasizes the need to avoid corporeal interpretations and stresses their role in understanding the divine and the created world.